Hey, what's up, legends? How are you doing for this 4th of July? As for me, I'm doing pretty good. And today, I, I promised I was going to do a video. And um, I wanted to play something that was going to remind me of the 4th of July. So I was like, eh, you know, fireworks, explosions, mages. So I found an awesome Temple Mage deck, right? It's going to have a lot of little, you know, arcing missiles and uh, flame waker. Um, you know, that type of stuff that reminds you of explosions and, yeah, anyway. I thought it was, you know, pretty fitting. Um, it was made by Off Pawns. Um, it looks extremely strong and he managed to make it to Legend with it. So I'm just going to give it a shot and hopefully we can do extremely well. And, you know, just for funds, um, I added a Etheral Conjurer because I do not have the Blood Mage Talnos at the moment. Um... But yeah, I mean, yeah, let's just have fun, right? So I'm going to put the deck list in the description, and you guys can check that out later. Happy 4th of July, guys. And if you're in Europe, well, um, happy 4th of July. You know, it's a day like any other day for you guys. It also is for me. I'm from Canada. I don't really care, but apparently it's a big thing here. America. Yeah, that's what I thought. She's just looking at me like, really? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. It'd be, it'd be even sweeter if I was playing against another mage. Or a Zulok. Okay. Not too sure what to keep here. Definitely not flame strike. Okay, well, I'm not gonna play arcing missiles on nothing. I mean, who am I? Nothing. Okay. I'm recording, I'm sorry. People trying to come everywhere. This is disgusting. Yeah, the wrong kind of come. Ugh. Ah, blood to wicker, no problem. That's that's pretty good. Sometimes there's spells that you just can't use. Blood to Wicker I can use, so and it costs one. It's in a temple mage deck, so it could be very useful. Okay, slam. So I'm gonna play both Sorcerer's Apprentice and Cold Sorcerer and Arcane missiles and I'm gonna make him choose which card he wants to kill doesn't matter to me that much so yeah I buffed, I buffed my uh, cartoon that does not exist interesting I'm gonna play Cabalist Stone. Uh, that's actually extremely strong, so I'm not gonna use it just yet. Also got another Flame Strike. That could be pretty strong. I like that. Okay. Renounce Darkness. Okay. I'm gonna play Vaporize. I'm gonna ping him. He got rid of his hero power, which makes me wonder what the hell. Like, he's warrior? I have a ton of spells. And he just decided to. I'm confused.
Okay, so Azure Drake. Could I play Mana Worm? Could I play Blood to Wicker? Yes, he's gonna draw. And yes, I'm not going to get the 2 2. But it makes it so he doesn't draw 3 cards. And it buffed my Mana Worm. So it's decent. Okay, he runs Katoon. Does he think he's gonna manage to get... Huh. Is that lethal? Oh, that has to be lethal, yes. Yeah, he probably knew about it. <laughs> At that point, there was big chances that I had explosions in my hand, and I did. So he got, he got bursted. Not too sure why he removed his um, his armor up power against the mage. And he knew I was not a freeze mage. And even against freeze mage, you don't remove armor up. Rule of thumb: when you play against the mage, keep your armor up. I mean, you're probably not going to regret it if you keep it. Okay, um, I tried to get pretty small. I was going to say, I was going to get. Pretty smaller spells, but didn't get smaller spells. I don't know why I said smaller. I should have said cheaper. Cheaper spells. Lightning bolt. Okay, that's excellent for me. I'm gonna coin out the spell slinger because it's a 3 4. It's pretty big. Ooh, that's excellent. Pretty big body. And I got a consecration. I have cult sorcerer. I have. I'm playing against the shaman. That could be really bad for him. Okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna attack here just in case he has a rock bitter or lightning bolt again or something like that. Because I want to keep my flame waker. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna play Cold Sorcerer. I'm gonna play Frostbolt here. Yeah, now I'm gonna go face. Because it's frozen, it has two health. I think I'm fine. Might be the consecration turn, depending on what he plays. Did you bring some fish? Yes, indeed, consecration turn. <laughs> He's really low. I got a fireball. Not too sure what he's going to be able to do here. Ah, interesting. Okay. Mm, I think Sorcerer's Apprentice, Arcane Intellect, Arcane Intellect is extremely strong. So I'm going to do that. 
I could also have played Azure Drake, but I prefer playing a smaller minion and drawing four cards. I can also play a mirror image. Yeah, that's uh, that's extremely strong. And I got a lot of spells in my hand. I was hoping for a taunt. Ooh. Well played. So we're going to Arcane Blast. Fireball. Uh, no matter what, next turn, I win. Because of the Forgotten Torch. Well, unless he heals himself, which would be extremely painful. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do that. Top deck. I'm just kidding, yeah, Forgotten Torch. Okay, yeah, so I mean, that was pretty simple. Let's play another one. I'm having a lot of fun, and it is quite simple and easy. Well, I mean, it's easier than what I thought to win. I might just be lucky right now, but I thought it would take me like a couple more turns every game. But apparently there's a lot of burst in this deck, and I like that. I mean, would you like to win on turn 6? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh-huh. Okay. Gotta keep that. Mm. I probably should not have done that. I mean Ragnaros against the Zulok, potentially. Not too good. One, because it's going to take way too long to place down and you're probably going to be dead by then. Or two, because he's going to have so many minions on the board that you're not going to hit the right target. I'm not too sure what he's doing right now. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. Right. Okay, I could also have played the Sorcerer's Apprentice, but um, it has synergy with my spells, so I want to be able to like tempo out, you know. That's not too bad actually. I can arcane blast this. So I can remove this guy. I don't know why he didn't trade. He probably thought he could cheese me, but it's not gonna work. Okay, I've got a Frostbolt and an Arcane Intellect next turn, which is really good. I have to profit of the, the fact that my spells are cheaper now. I mean, this is really strong. Pay two, draw two. 
very strong. Aha, okay, so I'm gonna play everything. Image. Is that 18? And it, it is a zoo, so... The fact that we're able to burst him down, per se, is... Is just really amazing. Those mirror image are gonna give him quite a hard time. I'm gonna play Spell Slinger. Oh, not bad. Okay. What school is that? Um, it's almost turn. Well, it's almost turn seven. It's gonna be turn seven sometime soon, and um, the Flame Strike is gonna be really strong. And I don't think I'm missing that much damage left. I think like I'm missing two or three. Okay, now he's gonna place a ton of minions and then he's gonna pop uh, his spawn of Nazat into the apprentice, I think. Okay. Azure Drake is pretty good here, actually. Okay, I'm missing three damage. Uh, Frostbolt would be great. I have two, so should be able to draw one. No, I actually have one left. I already played one. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, my board is quite annoying for him to trade with, unless he has, like, another buff. Yeah, if he has another buff, it's okay, but... Okay. He doesn't have another buff. So I don't think he can kill both, actually. So I think I win. Yeah. Well played. Yeah, that's it. That's it. There we go. Now, since those games are extremely fast, and I managed to win the past three um, in only a couple of minutes, I'm going to do a last game. I don't mind if I lose, because I show the strength of the deck. It is very strong, and extremely fun to play with as well. Um, there aren't that many mages on the ladder right now. It's more warriors and shamans, uh, as for my experience. Um... So, I really enjoyed playing this. Now, if it's not your your style of decks, you don't have to worry. I make videos like this every day. So, you, you know, you're bound to find something that you prefer. But I think that this would be good to rank with um, at the moment. Okay. Um... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna keep it, but it's I think it's a bit too slow. Yeah, I needed a one drop. Or another two drop. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm gonna be on the defensive this time. Because I can always I can always cold sorcerer arcade blast something. Yeah. There you go. I was thinking about what else I could do, but I think this was a fine play. I think I'm going to do Forgotten Torch next turn, and then turn 4 Flame Waker. Depending. What does he have? He's got a trade. He's not trading. Okay. Well, that's good for me. That is very good for me. Now, when you're playing against Shaman, clear his board. Definitely. Now, if he plays Flame Read Faceless, I'm fine. I got a Fireball. There we go. And now he's boned because he, he did not remove the Cold Sorcerer. That's his fault. He screwed up on that one. Did you bring some fish? Okay. The other one, like, one mana spell would be great. We don't get that, but we get a flame waker. Okay, so. I'm not too sure. I think I'm gonna play Azure Drake. I don't want to spell slinger into something pretty good. Ah, we could try. I think I'm gonna try this. Ooh. Oh, I like this. I mean, oh yeah, flame right, flame waker, and then power of the wild. Yes, please. Yeah, he's a, he's persistent. Well, I do have to play the fireball. Those big guys are pretty annoying. Now, I'm going to let him attack into this mirror image, because I can ping, or I can play Flame Waker and get a spell, something like that. I think I have the advantage right now. I can also just Azure Drake ping. I think, I think that's fine. I don't know what you think. But I think I'm fine here. Yeah. That card has been there the whole freaking game. He hasn't removed it yet. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, now I'm gonna play Flame Waker. Okay, there we go. I mean, I could have left the totem there, but I uh, there, uh, but um, I didn't feel like it. Just 
because there could be a chance that he would get um, lucky and then uh, he would be able to have it live and then you know kill something like next turn that would suck I prefer having a free board because shamans have buffs and um, you know I don't know if he's playing Tonum Shaman or whatever but I just want to be safe He's played a lot of totems so far. Okay. Can we get attack here? Because I'm going to play Ragnaros. And, uh, you know, it's just better that way. Because that way I'm sure he hits face for 8. Right? This deck is undefeated so far. I'm quite happy about that. Now, okay, yes, I'm playing at rank 15, but still. It is undefeated. He's using a lot of uh, face damage and removal to clear that. I, at any time I could get a fireball. I have no clue why I ping there. Sorry, I'm tired, guys. <laughs> we should be fine. Unless he has some sort of crazy combo. Yeah, no. I don't think so. You need to kill the spell damage. You didn't kill it. Well, it doesn't matter. I still have Cold Sorcerer in my hand, but he doesn't know that. Oh, okay. He did. Well played. Well played. Well played. Undefeated. How about that? It's probably the first deck showcase I made in a really, really, really long time that I have not been defeated. I'm quite happy about that. Okay. See, th don't do that though. Because he didn't know if I had another spell in my hand or not. Yes, I top deck something, but I could just have been saying well played just because. Don't abandon until you're sure he has lethal. He didn't know there. Um, so yeah. I think that um, that can prove to you guys how strong the deck is and I hope that you guys try this fiery deck up because it's pretty damn fun to play. Um, apart from that, I hope that you guys keep watching the videos because it helped the channel grow quite a bit. And um, yeah, I hope to be able to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.